There you have it guys, we just got our first rabbit of the season and it's an ugly bastard. We're gonna be taking a look at the Evo today, so don't you go away. So all right guys, today we're gonna be taking a look at the Evo. Now I've heard from a lot of you guys, oh Mark, you gotta check out an Evo, you gotta check out an Evo. Well, I've got one, I've done some shooting uh, with it and I've even posted up uh, one video of me shooting with it before, but I figured it's time to do the to do the review on this guy. So let's get into it. All right, guys, I gotta tell you, first impressions of this guy when I took it out of the package, I was kind of taken back by the weight. Uh, but after shooting it for three weeks, I have to tell you that extra weight is actually a benefit. It really helps with the recoil. It's stable in your hand. It gives you a firm grip. It helps with the grip. It helps with everything. Uh, this this is an awesome frame. For those of you who are out there looking for a new uh, for a new slingshot, I do highly recommend it. I've put it in my top two. So enough of the jibber jabber. Uh, let's get into the specs. We'll tell you what this guy's all about, and then I've set up a little course through the woods here, and we're gonna go and shoot all the targets that are there. We have one shot at that stupid rabbit again, that ugly, that ugly thing. We're gonna shoot that thing one more time uh, from 20 meters, and then we're gonna shoot the rest at 10 meters, and they're all varying from, uh, I think it's uh, six, six or seven centimeters right down to two centimeters on some splinters and flippers, and, a, um, and I think we have one of, those, uh, one of those pheasant heads lurking around in here somewhere. So. Let's get, let's get to the specs. Now, like I said, this guy is pretty heavy. Comes in at 300 grams. From base to fork tip, we're looking at 135 millimeters. The fork width on this beauty is 95 millimeters, which is right in my sweet spot. The Evo has nice 25 millimeter fork tips, which allows to attach a nice, powerful band. Also, they are slightly canted, which allows for a more comfortable grip in different positions and it's less taxing on your wrist. Sorry guys, I gotta tell you, I love gobl goblet frames and the ergos on this thing is pretty much off the charts. Um, the, there's a few things that really help this thing out. I mean, you got these nice little scallops here for those of us who like to shoot with a thumb brace like I do, it works great. Uh, another thing is the, the canted fork tips. Now on a lot of flat, on a lot of flat slingshots, when you're holding your slingshot, you kind of have to hold it like, like, the, like uh, really straight and your wrist is kind of like, like torqued to the side a little bit. With this guy, because of these, these nice, uh, these nice canted um, fork tips, you can actually point forward a little bit, which gives your wrist more of a, more of a, of a natural position. Instead of holding it like this, you're actually holding it with your arms straight, where you have more power and more stability, which is pretty nice. The knurling, yes, I did wrap it up, uh, and you see in the picture here of the of the knurling, it is it isn't too aggressive when you first put it into your hand, but I did find. Um, after long shooting sessions, it did become a little bit rough on the hand. And I tend to, when I tend to practice, I tend to shoot uh, hundreds of shots, like a couple hundred, 200, 300, 400 shots. Sometimes I'll sit up there for a good couple of hours when I have time and really shoot the hell out of this thing. And I started getting a little bit of a hot spot on my hand, but I did wrap it up with paracord. I think it looks pretty damn cool. And let me tell you, it shoots amazing and is comfortable and I can shoot all day long. The th sweet thing about this is got a very nice sweep to it. See that? So when you put your fingers in here, this keeps you from sliding away and it locks the frame in. So as you're holding your frame and you're lining up down the bands, you don't have to worry about your hand slipping around anywhere or moving anywhere or anything. It's, it really locks into the hand. That's gotta be one of, the, one of my favorite things about this frame is the grip. Um, although the knurling is a little bit strong, the grip the way it holds in hand, the way it fits in your hand, where it doesn't slide forward or backward or move around at all, even after you've released the ball because of the weight and, the, and the, it kind of suppresses the recoil. I'm telling you, fantastic. As for the pocketability of this frame, the slim profile allows it to slide in and out of a pocket, super easy. Yeah. This goblet frame uh, checks a lot of boxes for me. First of all, I'm a goblet shooter. Those are my favorite uh, style frames to hold on to. Um, this one, I find so, some of the other goblets I've tried have been a little bit on the short side. This one is nice and long, so it fits my whole hand properly. It's got those nice thumb scallops. Number two, comfort. Three, I like the option of having uh, a nice wide, uh, wide fork tips. Um, Having all nice wide fork tips gives you the versatility of putting on a big band or a small band. You can do whatever the hell you want with it and it works out just fine. That I like. Uh, for that, 
the fork width on this guy is right around my sweet spot. And now uh, I have some wider frames and I have some smaller flame frames, but that 90, 95 uh, millimeter is right in my sweet spot. I could pretty much pick up that frame, drop it on my anchor point and start firing it off. And with four or five shots, I got it dialed in and that's it. Uh, I, I really like that about this frame. It's right in that sweet spot for me. As for pocketability, pocketability is great. Slides in my pocket, in and out, no big deal. It's comfortable, although it is a little bit on the way on the weighty side. The ergos, the ergos are fantastic, and I like that the, they have the canted tip, so you can point your forks just a little, slightly forward, a little bit, just to to, uh, to fire off your shots, and it gives your your um, your frame a little bit more comfort uh, on your wrist. Uh, there's lots of things about this I like. Um, all things considered, uh, I think we should just shut up and start shooting it because I, I want to shoot. <laughs> all right, guys. You got that rabbit set up all the way down there. Hopefully you'll be able to see him when I bounce this ball off his head. Uh, but if you follow if you follow my bag down, straight down that line, you'll see him. And uh, anyway, let's get him. 25 meters. Oh, first shot, right in the face. Okay, let's continue on. All right, guys, there's our 30 millimeter flipper, and we're about uh, 12 meters away. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, just over it. Oh, there it is. Two shots. Not too bad. Forty mil flipper, downhill, ten meters. Oh, there it is. Let's try one more. That was fun. There it is. Two in a row. Well, we got two more little flippers here and the pheasant head, which I seem to have lost somewhere. All right, guys, I got a 30 millimeter flipper on the bottom and a 20 millimeter flipper on the top from about uh, 15 meters. I'm going to have to shoot from my knees, I think, because i got tree branches hanging down low. But uh, let's see if we can get it. You wait and listen for the sound. First time I've ever tried shooting from my knees. I've got that 30 millimeter flipper on the bottom and the 20 millimeter flipper on the top. We're going to go for the bigger one first. Uh, it's because it's the one I could see. <laughs> let's see if we can get it. Oh, so close. Uh. There's one. Let's go for that 20 millimeter flipper. It's right up on top. Little high. There we go. Two shots. Freaking awesome. We got that guy there. There's our two flippers. Now where, where did I see that pheasant head? Oh.
There he is. All right, since we found him, let's get him. Oh, that was a good one. I think I broke it. He's kind of swinging there. Let's see if we can get him one more time. Ah, he's sideways. One more shot. Oh, there it is. Two. Sweet deal. Ooh, we're sideways, eh? Haha, <laughs> got you anyway. Oh, just a touch. Don't you hate it when this happens? Boo. Well, I got to tell you guys, if you guys are looking for something to target shoot at and you like the goblet design, you can't go wrong with this one. If you're looking for something to hunt, well, I just shot that rabbit about uh, 10 times or so from uh, 15, 20 yards as it kept on flipping on down and uh, this will do it. So I just got to tell you, my opinion, this is an absolute win. Uh, my, It's in my top two. Absolutely love this guy. And if you're looking for... If you're looking for um, for a slingshot that's reasonably priced, that is indestructible, this will never die. It's a solid piece of 304 stainless steel and it will not break. You drive over with a car, you drop it out of a plane, little scuff out if you wanted to, and you're back in business. I'm telling you, this thing is indestructible. So if you're looking for a, a frame for life that you can give to your kids, this is it, I'm telling you. All right, guys, I'm going to put a link down in the description below or where you can find yours if you want one of these. Um, it's at caddyshackcatapults.com, and I'll put that down in the description for you. Also, uh, I'll also add in um, Caddyshack Catapults uh, Instagram feed also if you want to check it out. Shoot the guy a message if you want to. Wayne's an awesome guy. He makes some wicked, has some pretty damn good products, and uh, the shipping from the UK is actually pretty quick. And uh, when I ordered this guy, I had it in two weeks from, in, uh, from Canada. And uh, I can't even get anything from the United States that fast. And they're just right, be right below us. So, anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you again soon. Be good to each other and get out and practice. And have some fun. Take care. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. But if you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. You can even and hit subscribe if you haven't already for more cool videos like these. Anyway, uh, I'm going to attach a couple of other slingshot reviews for you a up in a playlist here. And maybe another video or two. Check them out if you feel like it. Again, you guys take care. Stay safe. And uh, be good to each other. Oh, well, See you again soon.
Take care, guys.